Hi guys, so for today's video I thought I'd do a little video on what's in my medicine box kind of video. Um, I thought this would be a great way to show the insight of how many medicines I have to take daily um, because a lot of my day is taken up with taking medicines. I actually have PAs slash carers um, that make my medicines for me because otherwise I just wouldn't have a life because I'd just be doing medicines constantly. So I will show you guys what what is in my medicine box. So these are all my medicines. Um, I will, sorry, excuse them, they're my night meds. Um, I will quickly go through each one uh, and tell you what each one is for. Um, I'll try not to talk for uh, too long because I don't want it to be a really long vlog. Um, so yeah. So the first one I've got is metoclopramide and I've also grouped together um, cyclozine and I also have andonstrone as well which is not going to be in the film. Um, these are my anti-sickness meds. I take them up to three times a day. Um, so and that kind of helps keep my nausea at bay. It doesn't always work but it helps a ton. So next we've got my effervescent paracetamol. Um, I can only take 500 milligrams because I've lost quite a lot of weight recently. So I've had to reduce my dose. Um, I also have tramadol. Um, I have 100 milligrams. Um, three, three to four times a day. Um, and then I have my buscopan which really helps with gastro pain um, and I have that three to four times a day too. So they're all my pain pain relief tablets. Oh, I also have um, pre-gabalin, um, which is a nerve pain tablet. I take that mainly for my MS related pain. Um, so that tends to be like nerve pain in my neck, shoulders and back. Uh, sometimes pelvic pain too, which that really helps for. And then obviously I've got my trambro on the top, which really helps with nerve pain and joint pain as well. Uh, and also like occasional muscle pain, which I don't really get that often. Here I have my antispasmodics, I think that's what they're called. Um, so xanadine is mainly for my muscle spasms in my legs. Um, I also occasionally get them in my arms and I get quite bad twitching in my neck too which can unstabilise my neck quite a lot. Um, I also have solifenacin which is for really bad muscle spasms. I have a super catheter in place um, so having a foreign body um, kind of permanently inside me does tend to upset my bladder quite a lot so solifenacin helps to relax the muscles um, and makes day-to-day -day life a lot less bearable here i have my prophylactic medication um, so this is to help with bladder infections which i get quite frequently due to having a super catheter um, and also just generally bladder failure um, not being able to move things properly in my bladder um, that also causes infections and then I've also got one of my favourite tablets um, which is Valacyclovir and I'll show you why it's my favourite it's blue so this one is to stop me from getting shingles it's a very specific medication um but due to my ms medication um my immune system is very very low so basically without this i would get constant recurring shingles uh, which is basically the adult form of chicken pox um so that's kind of making sure that i'm not a contagious mess um so yep yeah, that's that one so the next two medications I'm going to be talking about are probably the most important medications that I take. Um, so the first one I'll talk about is my um, Thingolimod. 
this is my disease modifying therapy um it works absolutely perfectly for me um it has well i've had two relapses in the last year but that has been due to my doctors taking me off my uh, medication without uh, consulting my neurologist um so the medication itself actually does work really well for me when i'm on it um, but we are talking about switching medication to a infusion um, so but yeah this is an oral tablet at the moment this we just open this up and it goes down my page um, it seems to work really well for us we weren't sure what my absorption would be like but it kind of it does something weird to my heart and we measured it through constant ECGs and my heart responded in the way that it would do if um, someone without gastric issues would um, so they are pretty confident that I'm absorbing it well enough for it to be effective um, it's literally a little capsule um, once a day and honestly it makes the world of difference um, it has helped me so so much um, and then I have my metazapine, which is my antidepressant. Um, it helps so much. It's very sedating, um, which I don't like. But um, yeah, it has it has brought me out of crisis many times, and honestly, it just helps so so much. I really recommend it for anyone that's really struggling. Bring it up with your psychiatrist or psychologist um, if you feel that any form of antidepressant would work. Um, this is the second antidepressant that I've tried um, and this one really, really works well for me. Last but not least is my melatonin that I take at night. Um, this helps me sleep. It is literally a natural um, hormone that's already in, produced in the brain. But because of my decreased nerve function in my brain, um, I don't produce the right hormones to help me sleep. Um, so I could literally, without this medication, I could stay awake for as long as possible. Um, so yeah, it really, really does help. I don't take much. I only take two milligrams. Um, but yeah it's um it really really helps and um, i've been on this for about two to three years now um unfortunately I, I have become quite dependent on it um but yeah it's um it's really helpful and it's nice to know that it's n i'm not putting any form of chemicals or anything else into my body because it is a natural hormone that we already produce so that's it for all my medications um, so I do take a lot and I do appreciate that this video might be quite long um, but yeah I hope you guys know a little bit more about the medications that I take a lot of people know that I take a lot of medications but don't actually know what they are for um, so I hope you guys kind of learn a little bit more about all the different things and don't just see me as kind of some pill popping drug taking teenager because I do take these all for different reasons and um, I have very justified reasons for them unfortunately I do get a lot of doctors and people say uh, why are you on so many drugs and um, you probably don't need half of them drugs um, it does upset me quite a lot because it's taken me a long time to get where I am now. I feel like I am fairly stable where I am now. Um, so yeah, I am happy with the way things are and I am more than happy to keep taking these medications for as long as they keep me healthy. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you later.